Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am going to do a mammoth layout show. I'm going to spread this over two videos though. Now I took part in the Mind the Scrap Summer Scrapping Challenge and uh, that's a Facebook uh, group and a UK kit club as well and we did six weeks of um, summer scrapping. In one week I decided to, well one of the challenges was to scrap lift someone from another team so I decided to attempt to scrap lift every single person there were 66 other people and I did all of these layouts in a week um, so I thought I would um, I would share them I didn't film any process videos um, but I thought I would share them all with you um, the layouts that I created so first half now and then there'll be a part two so this is the first layout that I did now I I'm not going to remember all the ladies that I scrap lifted from, so apologies, I'm not going to go through um, the names. But I did this one uh, as my first scrap lift. I kept it very simple. I used the um, Summer Lights collection from Pink Paisley. And yeah, I loved how this one turned out. So I'll bring this one up here. So a little cluster up in the top left. Um, a little cluster here. This was a gold um, highly Swap title. Um, now if you're wanting to do something different with it I've, all I did was I just backed it with some purple paper from the kit from the collection and I left how that one came out so that was layout number one layout number two was this one and I I think I just used parts from again the mind the scrap kit um, for this one called rosy cheeks very simple, I love the torn paper, it's one of my favourites, torn paper at the top and the bottom, a couple of little flower clusters and I love this little girl here as well, I knew I had to use that because it's a layout about me and my rosy cheeks. And this is layout number three and they're already toppling over. This is layout number three and I tend to scrap on white or black uh, or mainly plain backgrounds but um, I decided to go with the the layout that already was there and that was to use a pattern paper um, so I used this pink and white polka dot I believe this is from Amy Tangerine and um, the layout had a, a list um, so I found this journaling card that said these are a few of my oh it's from the cutter part actually these are a few of my favorite things and these stickers here they just work perfectly and this was just using bits from my my stash and not one particular kit or collection um some amy tan hero happy life some cork hearts that i had in my stash already um and some gold heidi shine and some uh cosmo cricket i believe these um these stickers were from so that's layout number three this is layout number four and I love grid layouts um, and this one included some mixed media um, so I did a whole load of splashing of, of mixed media behind the behind the squares um, it looked quite messy to me so what I did was I cut it down and I layered it on this is an Amy Tan I think this one's better together but don't quote me on it um, so yeah layout number four on a grid basis layout number five was this one using the girl squad collection and I don't have masses of the 12 by 12 paper and this green one, although it's personally green and brown are not a, a two colours that I really don't normally work with, but this green I'm alright with and because it's got the scripty font on it, um, I quite like this. Uh, and this is layout number five. I think I've already lost count. This is layout number six. This is using Amy Tan products and I'm so excited because I'm off to go and meet Amy Tan at a workshop in the UK in October um, so yeah I love working with Amy Tan's products now this one nice and simple just some circle pun uh, punched circles punched out top and the bottom um, had them running off the edge cluster here cluster here cluster here in a diagonal nice and simple so that's layout number six this was layout number seven and this was using the Shine collection from Maggie Holmes. Again, I'm back to um, mainly the white background, the pinks, the coral colours in this, just absolutely beautiful. And the, um, the glitter, the gold glitter thickers as well, just sets this off. And I love the sequin hearts from the collection as well. I'm quite late to the game in getting Shine um, and I've just, yeah, I'm doing all of these challenges. I've tried to use up quite a lot of um of my of my stash so this one here um 
hate having anything around my wrist when I'm scrapping, but um, it's now September in the UK and I'm, I'm feeling it's cold. Um, so anyway, I digress. So this is layout number, I have no idea, I'm gonna stop counting now. Um, so this layout here was a photograph of me, my husband and a couple of friends. It's just a photograph that I've had sort of hanging around um, in my to scrap pile and again I used um, I think this was shine that I used um, because of the gold I think I think this is shine so I um, took inspiration from the, the bow that was in the chipboard kit and so I fussy cut some of the little bows out from one of the papers I added in some gold doilies that I bought ages ago and I've never actually used so I've added those in and um, yeah I really liked how this one came out and the next layout as well, you'll notice this darling, um, so I've got a couple of packets of the thickers in the Shine collection um, and I just love this layout, I love the strips um, sort of um, separating out the layout, just very clean um, and then as soon as I saw the little crown I thought I knew how to use it on this one, so that was that layout. And this is one of my favourites, um, so like I said I normally work on the white backgrounds but this one here, the wood grain just it spoke to me on this one. And this layout here had a, a circular element here, a doily and a circular element here and then both sides were sort of embellished in the photograph and one in the journaling on the other. So yeah I did this one, I was really pleased how this one came out. And then this, back onto the white background again, this one here, um, I grabbed out my Maggie Holmes Bloom collection and it's been sat in the box forever and I thought I, I need to get using it. So you'll see quite a few Bloom layouts in, uh, in here, including that one I've just shown you. So this one here was um, a load of, um, I don't, I'm not sure it was hearts down the side of their page, but I chose to do hearts. The title here, the photograph here, and then I just... Um, fussy cut these flowers out to use behind my photograph and this one here back to using Amy Tangerine products and I think you can always tell when they're Amy Tangerine ones so this was uh, done using strips of washi tape and kept it very simple a little cluster down here um, a little cluster up here and then I chose to put my title up um, sideways up the page there when I come out and play as our friends that we met, meet up with so this is another Amy Tan one as well back to the grid uh, grid layout I believe the the layout that um, was originally done was um, journaling cards I believe um, but I just cut down some three by four um, pieces of pattern paper from um, Amy Tan I can't remember which collection I think this is better together collection and yeah just kept it very simple title photograph just a few tiny word stickers a tag and just some other little things to decorate it and this one here so this was using string art and I've had the Paige Evans string art kit for ages and I've never used it. Now I used my own brads because I wanted it to look slightly different and also my own uh, thread and this is how it turned out and I'll oh wrong way do a bit of a close-up and I love this one I think I'm gonna put this in a frame and pop it on the wall and then this one here was using strips of paper so I'm using bloom again for this one um, photograph from my hen party in 2007 because me and my hubby have been married 10 years this year so I thought I'd um, get to actually scrap in some photographs from uh, from back from back then this one here is um, so there was a lady that did um, project life style layout so I just took the um, the style of the Project Life and made it into a normal 12 by 12 layout. You'll have to excuse me because I've got tape on the back of one of these layouts and it keeps sticking. So this one here was a, um, yeah, it's a, effectively a Project Life layout. So I used the same um, 3 by 4, 4 by 6 elements that she had. The only difference is I made this one a 6 by 8, I think it works out to be. Um, so I can get my bigger photograph in that bit and I loved how this one came out and I used uh, Cool Kid for this one 
and the bee's missing again so I'll have to go searching for oh it's on the back of that one I need to glue these down really they're not they're not sticking very well I'll go back and do that so this one here again no this one came from yeah this one came from bloom so the whole idea on this one is to use the stamping off technique so basically i masked off a square area and i stamped a whole load of the bows from the stamp uh, from the bloom collection i love this one this one here also from bloom and um, the layout had the um, fussy cut flowers down the side but I changed it to at the bottom um, tucked my photo in added oh, I love these little pinwheel um, chipboard pieces and I made my title sort of go in line with the the curve of the flowers there and just added some in some um, little fussy cut but butterflies this one here was um, a quite a simple layout so I used a patterned, a patterned paper background just a couple of photographs of my dogs one when they're playing and one where they're cuddling up because that's the sort of relationship they have and the title here we fight but we still love each other and I had to I don't know if you can really tell but I had to um, use some different alphas and I nearly finished those alphas off and this one here uh, I love how we're weirdos together that's me and my husband wearing minion glasses when we're on holiday love that one as well this one here was a layout based on a grid with um, circles so I just punched a whole load of circles out made this a real beachy summer themed one titled it life's a beach um, and just added loads of elements on top of the um, on top of the circle so I had a banner some sunglasses a few wood veneer a camera a bucket and spade that sort of thing this one here was, um, I took inspiration on this, on the um, paper from the Bloom collection again, and there was this scallop paper, so I fussy cut all these scallops out and I've layered them on top of each other, so they are all, they're all separate on here, and uh, this one's called Photobomb, and just used a um, journaling card there, and overstickered it with some stickers. This one here, again, I'm using Bloom again, and I just used the bow pattern paper, and there's this paper that looks fringed um, in the pad, and I have just gone to the effort of fringing it myself and, and sticking it down. And this one's gonna stick up quite a lot on the album because it's got the 3D little roses in, but I like this one. Next one was this, I love doing um, layouts using black with pattern paper because it just it just stands out so well so this one here was just a whole load of strips down the right hand side and then the photograph um, elements all to the left so this one of my mum when she was at the Hollywood Walk of Fame and she's a massive Elvis fan and there's a photograph of her with the Elvis star this one here, one of my favourite ones, this one's called Live Life in Full Colour and this one here was um, using a strip of papers and it was um, multicoloured so I used the rainbow sort of paper from Chamel um, Little by Little collection and I love how this one turned out. This one here is again another, shy, uh, another bloom one and I took inspiration from these banners um, from a sheet in the paper pad as well and I fussy cut these out to create some elements across the page sort of connecting this side, the right hand side to the left hand side of the page so there wasn't too much white space and this one I did on a grey uh, textured background and I took inspiration from this paper so I fussy cut some of these little plus signs out and you'll probably be able to see under there I have just bumped them up on some foam just to give it some um, just height uh, popped a couple of flowers on and simple title let's go eat this one here was also from Bloom uh, this one's called So Elegant this is me, my husband and my um, friend in the hot tub when we went on holiday and I thought I'd never ever get to use the Swan ephemera piece the swan paper and the swan uh, chipboard from the Bloom collection, but hey, there we go, so elegant. 
This one here, I love this coloured um, cardstock and it was perfect for this layout. This one's called Onesie Day and I wanted to keep this one very muted. Um, I will bring this a bit closer. So I've snuck in the little bunny rabbit there. You can just about see it. Some butterflies, the little deer up there as well. So quite whimsical, that's probably what I call it. This one here, um, again, very simple. This one here had an element going across the page so I used this um, this banner again from uh, from that sheet from the same as the other layout and again I kept this kept this very simple just a strip down the left um, a little cluster up to the right um, a title there so it's called beautiful and sweet that's for my sister this one here is called awkward and uh, yeah it's a photograph of my friends kissing and as I went to take a selfie and then I realized behind that is, uh, that's the, the photograph that I caught, so that's called Awkward. I love these delights from Bloom. Um, I have been as a hoarding the collection and just created a cluster here. The bird paper behind, I thought I'd never use the bird paper, but it, it works, it's fine. So this one's called Awkward. This one here is called Amazing Mum. So um, there was an element of mixed media um, down the side of the page. So I used my pearlescent watercolours and you can just about see them poking out um, from behind the, um, the papers. I just used some of the elements, the cut apart sheet, um, sort of layered them up the sides and added in some um, little sentiment words here and there and added my photo. And then this is the final one for this part of the um, this part of my layout share. This one here used um, strips of paper that had like a lifted look on the sides, so you can see here that the pages are are lifted going down. And yeah, I like this one. Um, it's a bit busy norm for my normal sort of taste and my normal layout. I used the Chasing Dreams collection for this one. Uh, yes, I did. And yeah, just my normal sort of element, uh, sorry, cluster here, cluster here, and my title under here. I was desperate to use this banner piece. Um, and um, yeah, so I was happy with the way this one turned out. So that's layout share part one. Stay tuned for part two. Um, if you like this layout share then and you want to see more layout shares, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye!